LeBron leaving Miami. Yeah. Did you guys have a conversation? Did you know he was thinking about leaving Miami? And did you think he'd go back to Cleveland? Uh, I didn't know he was thinking about it right away. I mean, we just had a four-year run. That was right. not what I was thinking about. Right. Um, I didn't think Cleveland was on the, on the docket at all. Right. Um, once that letter came out four years prior, I was like, well, it's over for them. Yeah, 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 yeah. appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so I, I was, when we went into free agency that summer, um, I didn't think that we were, that we wasn't coming back. Right. Right. I, I thought we was going to retool. Right. That's what teams do. They retool. Right. Um, and so once I started hearing the noise on the outside and I started hearing Cleveland, I started seeing things. I was like, oh, it's some truth to noise. Right. Some truth to yeah. noise. Yeah. There's truth even in a lot. Yeah, there's something in there. <laughs> and I didn't even know it was a thing because we never talked about, right. hey, I'm, that was never our conversation. Right. And so when I did get the information from him um, that he was headed back to Cleveland, um, I mean, I took it like I take everything else. I took it on the chin mm -hmm. because I'm not a selfish guy. I mean, I, do, I have selfish acts and selfish moments, mm -hmm. but my whole being is not selfish. And right. so if that's what that man want to do for his life. Like, I support him doing it. Mm -hmm. I just got to now figure out my life right. because I had a whole different plan Correct. for how I wanted mine to go. Right. And, you know, one thing I told him in that moment, we were sitting outside the plane. I, mean, I think even the camera crew might have got us talking because we had just flew back in from Vegas mm -hmm. before the announcement was made the next day. And we're sitting out there and I told him, I said, man, listen, everybody's going to win no matter what you do. If you stay here, we all win. LeBron James stays in Miami, we win. You go to Cleveland, Cleveland's going to win. Ultimately, you got to do what's best for LeBron. Right. And so if this is what's best for LeBron James, Savannah James, Bryce and Bronny, and Zuri yeah. wasn't at that stage, if this was better for your family, you got my, if you're looking for blessing for me, you got my blessing. Right. Right? I'm not going to hold you back. Now I got to go deal with my side because right. I had a whole different mentality. I opted out of my deal. I did all these things because I'm like, hey, we retooling. Right. And so a lot of people like to say, like, was it a part of me that was a little pissed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm human. Right. I don't want to lose the best player in the game. Right. What did we do to why did we lose him? Right. And also too, now I gotta figure out my future. Right. Right? Because I've given up a lot of my stardom and I've given up my place for you to for you to right. step in and help lead us. Mm -hmm. And so it took me a while and, and Brian and I had a conversation later once before I got to Cleveland about that moment and how I felt. Right? Like right. And, and how he felt. We sat down as men and we talked about that moment and we moved on from it. That was a difficult time for you because you gave up $20 million that wasn't repaid to you. Yeah, you don't get, <laughs> you don't get money back. My, hey, money don't come back, people. <laughs> you can make more, but you ain't getting that you money back. Because, you ain't gonna get more. Oh, I don't care what nobody tell y'all, you can't recruit that money. No. <laughs> the current, you, you mentioned earlier that you were very, very surprised that LeBron went back to Cleveland. Given that the letter that Dan Gilbert, the owner, who had worked so closely with LeBron James with the things that he said, because now all of a sudden it's not about basketball, you've made it personal. How is LeBron? LeBron is a very forgiving person because there are guys that's taking shots at him that he's willing to embrace again. Like, oh, now we, man, we cool later for that. How is he able to forget? Because, you know, we don't, we're not, most people aren't as forgiving or as forgetful yeah. as he is, especially. When you look, if you say something to me in private, just me and you know, okay, cool. Like, look, I, I don't rock with you no more, but cool. Yeah. But when you put it out there for 25, 100 million people to read, nah, I can't rock with you on that level no yeah, more, bro. Yeah, bigger man than me. Yeah. How does he? I'm petty. Yeah. I'm, how do you, how does he set that aside? I don't. I don't know. Like, I, and that's why I never thought Cleveland was in play. Right. You know, I and mean? not saying that I never thought he that he was gonna be in Miami forever. Like, right. he wasn't thinking that way. But I never thought Cleveland was in play because right. I'm petty. And so if I was going off of how I would have done it, no, I'm no, I'm not coming back to you. Right. But at the same time, man, um, it was LeBron has a journey. And it's bigger than a letter that Dan Gilbert could put out. Right. It's bigger than what someone sitting across the table from you may say. Right. It's bigger than because when you like he's been King James since he was 12 years old. Right. He has had a vision for how he wants this to go. Right. And if you allow all these individuals to get in the way of your vision, mm -hmm. then it becomes theirs, what they want for your career. He right. wants what he wants for his. Right. And so I looked at that move going back to Cleveland as this man, first of all, bigger man than me in that moment right. to go back. But it wasn't about Dan Gilbert. It wasn't about the Cleveland Cavaliers. 
it's about LeBron James and his family and what he want to accomplish and how he see his career going. Mm -hmm. And so to be to be able to fly higher than most people, right? Like LeBron plane has been at 40,000 feet since he took off. Right. Right. Mine hit some turbulence, then went down. <laughs> yeah. We landed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, landed yeah, my plane yeah. back in 2019. Right. He's been at 40,000 and, and higher since he started. Right. And so to be at that level, you have to look above. And he looked above right. and got what he needed for his career. Right. Yeah. I think the most interesting thing that you've done. I'm sorry, in his community. The community, yeah. Because that he, he, was important. He, I him. promise, yeah. And, and, I, and I say that, and I'm sorry to interrupt, but I say that to say when he went back, he implemented something that was bigger than basketball. And right. that's when you was like, I see you. He implemented I promise. Right. He implemented the schools, which now has implemented the housing. And it was about the, 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 the community of Cleveland that he wanted to, he wanted them to feel like winners. Right. Right. Yeah. And in the midst of it, yeah, we all have our feelings about how and why, because that's, we're human. But if I'm looking at it from his standpoint, I'm like, oh, I see you. Right. It, you, you up here. Right. And we all was like, we all were down here looking up right. like, bro, you shouldn't do that. Right. 